If you're a homeowner over the age of 55, then stop scrolling. Reverse mortgages provide a way for senior homeowners to tap into their home equity. Without selling their house, the cash they receive can help fund their retirement, pay for medical expenses, or cover other costs. What does ID mean when a reverse mortgage runs out? When we talk about a reverse mortgage running out, it typically means one of two things. First, it could mean the homeowner has tapped into all the available funds from their reverse mortgage. This situation is relatively rare because the homeowner would need to live a long time or borrow a significant portion of their equity up front. Second, it could mean that the homeowner can no longer meet the terms of the reverse mortgage. This situation could occur if the homeowner moves out of the house, fails to pay property taxes or homeowner's insurance, or cannot keep up with necessary home maintenance. Scenario 1. Using all available funds. If a homeowner exhausts the available funds from their reverse mortgage, it does not mean they will be forced out of their home. They can continue living in their home as long as they adhere to the terms of the loan agreement, such as paying property taxes and maintaining the home. However, it's important to understand that when the reverse mortgage funds run out, no additional funds will be available from this source. Homeowners in this situation will need to find other means to cover their expenses. Scenario 2. Failing to meet the loan terms. If a homeowner fails to meet the terms of their reverse mortgage, the loan becomes due and payable. This means the homeowner or their estate must repay the loan. Typically, the most common way to repay the loan is by selling the house. If the home sells for more than what is owed, the homeowner or their heirs get to keep the difference. If the home sells for less than the loan balance, the homeowner or their heirs are not usually responsible for covering the shortfall, thanks to the non-recourse feature of reverse mortgages. When homeowner passes away and the heirs want to keep the house, they have the option to repay the reverse mortgage. They could use personal funds, take out a new loan, or sell other assets to raise the necessary cash. Mitigating risks. Understanding the possible outcomes when a reverse mortgage runs out and help homeowners plan for these situations. Here are a few strategies. 1. Consider a line of credit. When taking out a reverse mortgage, consider opting for a line of credit instead of a lump sum. A line of credit allows you to draw funds as needed, giving you more control over how much you borrow and when. 2. Keep up with home maintenance and taxes. Failure to pay property taxes, homeowner's insurance, or keep up with home maintenance can lead to the loan becoming due. It's crucial to budget for these expenses to ensure you can meet these obligations and avoid jeopardizing your loan. 3. Understand the implications for heirs. Discuss the reverse mortgage and its implications with potential heirs. While they won't be responsible for repaying any shortfall, if the home sells for less than the loan balance, they will need to repay the loan if they wish to keep the house. Open communication can help avoid misunderstandings or surprises later. Give us a like, hit that follow button, and share this video with your friends and family. Stay tuned for more tips on reverse mortgages and how they can work for you.